Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm super excited. We are going to be using the Too Faced Peanut Butter and Jelly Palette. This is one of my absolute favorite palettes from Too Faced. Um, I am a huge peanut butter fan. Um, it does smell like peanut butter. Uh, what I wanted to do for today's video, uh, it comes with a how-to glamour guide. Now, in this glamour guide, you're supposed to be able to create these beautiful looks within three minutes. Three easy steps. Um, now, I have done two other videos also from Too Faced as well. Um, not any reason in particular. It's just I had these palettes handy with actual glamour guides. If you can think of a palette that comes with an info card that you're supposed to be able to create looks with very easily, step-by-step -step sort of thing within an allotted amount of time, uh, kind of similar to these videos, let me know down below in the comment section and I will do my best to either run out and grab it or hop online. Or if you do enjoy these videos, give this video a thumbs up and I will make more of them. I do believe that I have maybe four other palettes that I currently own with info cards in them as well. All right, let me go ahead and grab my timer and I will be right back and then we will go ahead and jump into this palette and see if I'm able to recreate the looks that are in the three-step glamour guide. Okay, so here is the glamour guide. Now the first look that we're going to try and recreate within three minutes is the soft and sweet. Hopefully mine looks like that. Um, I have used this palette a handful of times, so I think I might be able to actually complete this one and make it actually look semi-decent. Now, the first color, and I'll show you up close here, uh, they're supposed to use is Apply Spread the Love from Lash Line to Brow. And then number two is Press Peanut Butter onto the Lid. And then for number three, Blend peanut butter cup and decrease and smudge into lower lash line. So that's what that looks like up close. Okay, so here are the three colors that we're going to be using for the first look. This one is Spread the Love. The second one here in the middle is Peanut Butter. And then the third one is Peanut Butter Alright guys, I pulled up a timer on my iPad. I'm going to go ahead and start that. Wish me luck. Alright, so it's counting down. Now the first thing it said to do was to grab the color, spread the love, and apply that from brow bone to lash line. Get some more for the other side. Tap off the excess. Alright, so that was pretty quick, and then the next thing you want to do is take the peanut butter color right next to it and apply that onto your lid. That is actually really pigmented, which I'm quite surprised because I've had the palette for quite a while now. Alright, I think I actually got it when it originally came out. So that went on pretty nice. Go ahead and apply it on the other eye. Moving pretty quickly here, because I actually want to see if I can make this look semi-decent. It's a little nerve-wracking when you're trying to actually do it with a timer. Alright, so there's that. Alright, now the final step is this peanut butter cup, the shadow. And you're supposed to take that and blend it into a crease. The other side. How much time do we have left? Alright, we have a full minute and 30 seconds. So I'm going to grab a fluffy brush and blend that, making it look a little bit more smoother into the crease. Alright, so there's that. That actually doesn't look half bad with me moving as fast as I actually am. Alright, so there's that, and then we'll take the same brush, and we will apply it to my lower lash line, and get it pretty close there. That actually looks really nice. I love these glamour guides, first of all, because it challenges you to, well, for me, personally, it challenges me 
from, you know, having just the basic shimmery eyes and stepping outside of my comfort zone and trying something new. Alright, so that actually was pretty simple, pretty easy, and let me grab my timer. So it looks like we still have about 30 seconds left. So that actually went on pretty nice, and we were successful. And it also brings out the green in my eye as well, which looks very nice. Alright, so first one is done. Let's jump into the second look. Okay, so the first one went on pretty smooth, so it gives me hope for the second look. The second look that we're going to try and create today is called Rich and Creamy. Now this one looks a little bit more complex, but I think I can actually get it down. Like I said, um, I have had a lot more experience with this palette. Um, so hopefully we're able to also complete this look and make it look semi-decent like the first one. Now the instruction, three steps again is to apply bananas onto brow bone, inner corner, and center of lid, and then sweep peanut brittle into crease and lower lash line. And then the final and third step is to blend jammin into, I love that, I love that name, into inner and outer corners of lid and smudge into lower lash line. And it's counting down. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is grab the color jammin. Now it says to apply on the outer of the lid and then we're also going to put this kind of like a, a halo effect. Alright, so that is actually pretty pigmented. Now I did go ahead and wet the brush because I wanted to make sure that everything went on as smoothly as possible. I do really like how that looks so far. Moving pretty quickly here. There isn't a ton of follow up, but I just want to make sure that making my job as easily as possible. Alright, so let's go ahead and apply that onto here as well. Alright, so typically when I do these types of looks, though, I do do my actual base second, but purpose of this video and because I don't want to scare everyone we will go ahead and do that beforehand so we're gonna make every precaution as possible not to have a ton of follow-up that actually looks pretty nice all right so the next thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab a fluffy brush and we're gonna grab the color peanut brittle and we're gonna go ahead and blend that into the crease for the instructions right yes okay perfect Alright, so there's that. I want to make it as nice and neat as possible. Okay, there's that. And then also this one as well. This is actually, if I had a lot of time doing this, I, I really think this would be a beautiful look. This might be something I'm going to have to actually once I'm not actually timing myself. Pretty. Okay, so then our last step here, where's my brush? My last step is we are supposed to take the colored bananas. I'm going to go ahead and wet my brush. And we are supposed to take that highlight the all right so we got about a minute left now the last thing that we have to do is take the color banana I'm gonna go ahead and put some of that on my brush and right in the inner center here go ahead and add this color very pigmented I did wet my brush again uh, with six plus and it says to put it in the inner corner and then also to highlight the brow bone God, I swear I know how to do this. Alright, so there's that. Okay, so that is the final look. I do have roughly about 10 seconds left, so we'll go ahead and pause it here. So I was able to get all the eyeshadow on. It does look semi-decent. 
However, if I was going to be wearing this, I'd probably blend it out a little bit more. You can kind of see where the purple is bleeding a little bit up here. Um, and I would add a wing liner, maybe some fall flashes as well. But for three minutes, I don't think that that was too terrible. Um, so there's that. I'm going to go ahead and remove this, apply some more primer, and then set that with the RCMA powder. And then I will be right back. Okay, so I am primed and set. Um, I did forget to show you swatches of the last three colors that we used. So this is Banana, um, this is Peanut Brittle, and then this is also Jammin'. Now, for this final look, we are going to be applying Extra Creamy to the brow bone. Press Jelly onto the lid and smudge into the lower lash line. And then blend nuts about you into crease and lower lash line. Here's an up close of that one. And then here's what the actual look should look like. Now for the swatches. I did go ahead and clean my hands with the last swatches. This is extra creamy. Here is jelly. And then nuts about you. Alright, so timer is set and running. The first thing I'm going to do is grab a fluffy brush. I'm going to grab this Nuts About You. Tap off some of the excess. We're going to go ahead and blend that into our crease. So everything else will blend smoothly. And I know I'm going a little bit out of order, but I think this will help actually getting the color on there, making it look good, semi-decent or good, and within three minutes. So, just added nuts about you into the crease, and we're going to bring that in so everything looks seamless, back and forth motions. It's actually really pretty. Okay, so then we're going to grab the color Jelly, which is this color here. I did wet my brush once again, tap off some of the excess, and then we're just supposed to apply that, or press that, excuse me, onto the lid. There's that. Okay. Then also onto the lower lash line as well. Alright, so that's on. We got about a minute and 39 seconds. Okay, so then we're going to take the color Extra Creamy, this color here, and we're going to apply that to our brow bone. There's that up there. Okay, and tap off some of the excess. There's that. Okay, not too bad. We'll blend everything together. Alright, now for the lower lash line, you take the color Jelly again and apply that to the lower lash line. Alright, looks like we have about a minute left. And for some reason, it's hard for me to put on eyeshadow and talk at the same time. So that's on. It looks pretty nice. And then the last step is to... 45 seconds to go, add nuts about you, and also add that to the lower lash line as well. It's actually a really pretty eye look. Okay, so there's that. Alright, so what do we got left? Looks like we have 24 seconds, so I'm going to go ahead and pause that. So that actually went on really easy, really smooth, very simple. I do like that the info cards have the actual shadows that you're going to be using kind of side by side. I'm not sure if you noticed that. I did mention that in my last video. Uh, for instance, this look, this peanut butter and jelly look that we were creating, the color extra creamy jelly and nuts about you are side by side. So it does make it easier um, and allow you to be more efficient when actually trying to recreate the look. I am going to add some eyeliner, pop on some false lashes, and I will be right back for my final thoughts. Alright, so that was fun. Um, I did throw on some wing liner and some false lashes to complete the look. I did have a lot of fun actually recreating all three of those looks. Um, I will say that it went on 
pretty smooth and easy, really blendable, pigmented. Um, I was able to complete, like I said before, all of the looks within the allotted three minutes. Um, so I will definitely have to say that these looks can be created within three minutes regardless if you're a pro. Um, if you're maybe newer at this, it does help that the shades are all together. Um, and the info guide also gives you direct instructions of... Okay, so that will wrap us up today. If you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to subscribe. It does mean so much to me. And I will see you in the next one.